sleeve. That's like their marketing slogan, unbox phone. All right. So we're gonna open up the left side, excuse me, the right side. And over here we have the level uh, Bluetooth headphones. And there's also like a little uh, felt carrying case that you can't see. Uh, that's out of frame. That's how big this box is. I can't even fit all of this in frame. Uh, in the middle, you're getting a peek at the phone. Uh, we'll look at that a little bit later on. Um, but on this side, we have the new and approved Gear VR headset and the new remote, which should make using this a lot easier. So that is very exciting. Um, and then there's like, it says infinitely amazing on the side, which you can't see also. But right dead in the center is the main event. This is the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. So this is the slightly bigger model. And you can see the always on display is on because I already set this up so you don't have to look at that process, which took a while, I might add. Um, but I got it all set up, so let's take a look. So we just sort of pull this little pull tab here. And this is the phone. This is the black model. Uh, should be called the Fingerprint Plus. Um, but I barely have touched this thing and it's already covered in fingerprints. So um, it is glass and it is a fingerprint magnet, but the black version looks pretty awesome. Um, set that aside for just a second. So this is not the retail packaging, obviously, but um, the stuff in here should be pretty familiar with what you get um, from the retail. So obviously you're gonna need a SIM tool. Um, we got the wall adapter, some USB um, accessories like converting. Uh, so if you have like a micro USB cable, um, you can use this one to convert to USB type C, which is nice since that's still pretty new. Um, okay, so headphones, AK AKG headphones. These might not come with the retail version, um, but then you've got the uh, cable and looks like some tips for the headphones yep so that's all the stuff that you're gonna get and then obviously you'll get like you know how-to guides um, and all those pamphlets and stuff but if we put this back together we can look at the phone itself again here so uh, home button if you like hard press this um, it unlocks it and then you kind of get like that force touch haptic feedback which is nice uh, and this is exactly how it's gonna look when you set it up for the first time so you got this big weather widget on the top, Google search widget, um, and then there's some carrier stuff also. Uh, you swipe up to open the app drawer, um, which is nice, and then you got these uh, like little rounded square uh, silhouettes around all your apps in the app drawer. There's a search in the top. Uh, here are the new uh, virtual navigation buttons, um, and I believe you can like switch the order of these if you want, um, because Samsung ones, you know, are not the typical order. Uh, so that's the software. Oh, and you got the uh, edge screen because all these phones have curved displays now. If we turn the display off, uh, we can see that there's volume and there's a Bixby button on the side, which we will go more into depth, I'm sure. Power button on that side. Nothing going on on the top. And then the uh, USB Type-C and headphone jack on the bottom. Thank you for the headphone jack, Samsung. Um, but that's pretty much it in terms of the unboxing. We will obviously have much more to talk about uh, in the coming weeks for this phone. But in the meantime, leave us your comments, uh, your questions, what you want to see us talk about with this device, what you want to see us show how to do, um, any just questions that you have about it uh, so that we know what kind of content to put out for you guys. Um, but until then, we will see you next time. Later, guys.